Hello and welcome to Tech 18. In this video series of Fabric Essential series, today we are going to discuss about medallion architecture. So, what is medallion architecture in Lake House? If you are going into that in detail, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I'm making this essential series of fabric so that you can get aware of the basic concept of fabric and then we'll go further down in depth each and every step. If you haven't seen that, I will add the playlist in the description or on the link. Please go and check out that as well. A medallion architecture is a data design pattern where we logically organize the data in the lake house with the goal of it will add the data incrementally and as for it will have the streaming job as well as the batch processing. And as we go further on, it can improve the data quality for the real use of in the production. So that's how thumbnail I added in here as a bronze, silver and gold. So it means the data which we have it on the bronze, it's the raw data and what we have it on the silver, it's a kind of data which is structured and the gold data is for real production uses. So Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse. This actually the diagram shows us there are three stages of the lakehouse, which is bronze, silver, and gold. So we receive data from any sources like Excel, SQL, cloud sources, or on-premises, as well as, and also we get the data from the IoT devices as a kind of stream job. So all this data we can collect in a lakehouse as in terms of CSV file or in terms of tables. So those data is called as a bronze. That is actually without any addition of information, like without any transformation of the job. So it's the raw data. In addition to that, we can have like file date, time, date and time processed one. So those things we can add up here at the bronze layer. So we call it as a raw integration. So here there is no chain, no schema, whatever the raw source, it's the same thing here. And then we can move this into a silver layer where we can clean the data, remove the duplicates, and then we can organize the data in a way table format so that we can reuse this data for ad hoc analysis wherever the business need. And the next layer, what we're going to build is the gold layer, where is the real production case issues where we will build the specific cases based on the business need and it contains all the business level aggregations. So what are the benefits of using this architecture? Basically, it's a simple data model and it's easy to understand and implement and it enables incremental ETL and also we can recreate the tables from the raw source without going to the main source. It applies also the asset transactions because we are moving from bronze to silver to gold. So it never leaves the data, anything we have. It completes each and every transactions what we need here. So this applies here and the final gold one we can use in our business reporting purpose. So this is all about the theoretical example. As a practical use case where we can apply these logics is basically, let's suppose we have a Azure Data Factory. So in real production, how we can use this, apply this concept is basically, we have a fabric and in that we can use data factory or we can use the data flow gen 2. So in that we can get the data or we can copy the activity using the pipelines using data factory and then we can store it into the lake house. So lake house will be the base for all the storage and this is the unified platform what we have like one drive for data. So from that one raw data which is available on lake house, we can further take those data based on our needs and then we can do the apply transformations like using data flow gen 2 or using the Sparks notebook. So whichever the language which you are familiar with that, you can make use of that and then you can transform the data and again store it into a destination where you need. Example here is again the lake house. And finally, based on the business need, you can query those data using SQL endpoints and then store it into your SQL data warehouse. Because the lake house does the functionality of the lake house, data lake, as well as warehouse, data warehouse. So we have the best of the both the worlds in one single platform, which is the lake house. So you can make use of this functionality 
and then finally we can store our data into SQL warehouse. So it can be used based on your business need. If the if your users has a SQL knowledge, then you can make use of the SQL data warehouse. If you are not familiar with that, then you can make use of the Power Query or any other transformations which you are aware of that. If you have an advanced developer, then you can make use of the Spark Notebook, Apache, and Python. You can apply those logics here. So this is all about the metal and architecture in Fabric. Please let me know in the comment section below whether you have applied this logic concept or not. I am happy to hear about your thoughts. If you like this video, just hit the subscribe button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.